morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to yet another catch up of what's going on with this demolition site. So I'll quickly spin you around so you can actually see what's going on. And as you will notice, more of it has uh, gone away. It looks like they're uh, trimming right back that way first before they start with that. Because uh, I'm guessing that is going to be quite a big old box in there. So see all that looks still up there. There's a lot of it that's gone on, and it is definitely uh, coming on at quite a pace. Which it's one of those things if it's weird because you don't really want to see it go, but then again, once you start, it's the quicker it's gone, the better because then you don't have to see it every day. But hopefully, they will actually finish the build. And rather than leaving it as a big black hole like it was in Preston when they did theirs years ago but sad to see all this lot going because as many people have said uh, you know something which is only about 30 odd years old getting pulled down is uh, kind of a bit dumb but hey this is what happens when uh, councils get it in their idea for progress and stuff but I mean all this site over here is now definitely totally clear so the new market will be coming up soon which I will give you a quick, quick spot of that. I can't really get my arm through there, but I can give you a quick view that way and see if I can angle you that way. So you can see a few bits there that have gone through there and I'll give you a sneak peek over the top. So you can see from this angle. But this is uh, definitely all coming down quicker than even I'd have thought it was, but hey. I'll give you a roll at it from here. This is coming down a lot quicker than even I was thinking. Which, yeah, it's good that they're pulling it down quick now that they've started it. But I am one of those vocal people that has said I don't think it should really have done. Could have easy modified some of this because we're going to need parking. And where's all the parking going to go? because you've taken the parking truck down, you know? And obviously, that does have its B now, so... Zapu Natwak will be running so... It's been less than a week, and that wall has uh, had a lot more munched out of it than I was here last, so... That is coming down. I'm excited to see, like, an AC compressor up there, or a cooler, cooler box. Well, there's a lot of stuff that's come down over here, which is kind of amazing. We've got a long reach, which is having a bit of a month. So we're zooming on the long reach. We've got the Dustbuster thing up. There's a lot of other stuff going on as well, but it's uh, kind of all this lot down here won't be long until it's all gone. It's definitely going to be uh, a shame to see. And, uh, any Man United fans? Whoever drew that up, your uh, bit is coming down soon. But this is all weird. It's all coming down. So I think it looks like they're going to be cutting through that way, isolating that bit and cutting down there and then they'll make an attempt and take it all of that back down which will be uh, another bit of sadness to see going because uh, having this up here was part of how my childhood was because I could always see this. So I was born before this end was finished. So to see all this lot coming down is definitely uh, something of a, a bit of a weird shock. But hey, give you a quick look around here and then I'll uh, put you on pause for a little bit. But that mural's coming on nicely. That's uh, going to be something colourful going up. But, 
hopefully they'll uh, get on with this, but you never know. They're all messy though, aren't they? But this is going to be weird, just to see all this lot come down. But, jeez. Could definitely still do with having some uh, parking structure though, because uh, that is going to be something we're going to be in need of once it's all done, because uh, the parking that's going to be there is going to be totally insufficient because uh, it's already bad enough as it is when you're adding in new things that you want to put in here with very 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 minimal parking but yet you're wanting people to go to a cinema that you're building in here but you've got no parking and you had a cinema which is closed obviously because the company went bust but still at least that had parking so this has gone through which is kind of the norm but yeah that's all that window for what was thinking Morrison's so still got all the, like the PVC piping and pole pipe and all that there but where the guys wandering around and this is going to look so weird once it's all done but so I will stick you all on pause. Pause! Wow, now you really can see all the way through. Ha, damn! That's definitely uh, getting uh, ripped apart pretty quickly, which is uh, immense of how quickly that is uh, going through. But now you can see all the way through into the other side, which kind of, uh, gives us all a nice little uh, way of looking at it because uh, if I just give you a quick zoom in and just go beyond these guys you can just about see all over to the other side which is uh, all the way in there you can just see that light fixture up there with the three bulbs with the three uh, dome lights in it and some of the internal structure you can see the uh, escalator thing yeah the moving stairways See that in there and there's a lot of other stuff going on which kind of this is uh, amazing and uh, the marvelous the marvelous mound of muck has uh, started to uh, go which is uh, amazing how fast this is going uh, wow this place is uh, definitely uh, getting pulled very quickly and uh, rolling quite quickly which with the, where the mound of muck has gone the six days that I've uh, not been here because I think last time I spoke was Thursday. Might have been a Wednesday, but I don't really remember, but amazing. And then uh, everyone is uh, obviously we've got the uh, machines scattering again. This is uh, fun, but again, I'm going to keep saying, keep now reiterating on what I've just said earlier. The main parking structure which we call this central part of the is what we're going to do for parking. That's all I'm going to question. The other thing is, whilst we have a look at the other stuff, we're going to at home to uh, Northampton and Pride is on on Saturday at the same time that the football is going on and we've got less space now than ever before. So that's uh, a bit of a weird one because Pride's no doubt going to be back on the old marble like it was before up there uh, you know quite a few other issues with uh, all of that it's going to be difficult with uh, space whilst you've got all this lot going on you know you've got a park that you could at least use for that I know it could get a bit muddy but hey you're not guaranteed good weather in the country anyway but mm -hmm. there it is I'll try to roll away from the door a minute and and as you can see over there, more of the walls have gone. So a lot of that one's gone. It's like this is just an amazing amount of muck. And it's going down pretty quick, which is an amazing amount of work for these guys to bring all this lot down. Anyway, I'm going to uh, stick you all, I will stick you all back on path until we get to the other side and then we will uh, do our uh, sneaky peek up there uh, and I'll do the wrap-ups and uh, we will uh, we will be done uh, 
So, pause. There's how much work they've made on that side. I don't think they're very far away from literally knocking on that wall. So that won't be uh, long for it all. Wilco's, as we've heard, is that uh, it is a brown stinky stuff. So what they're doing at the moment is looking at probably closing all of their lost leading ones. Sorry about him, I can't exactly battle against someone who's a street singer. But it looks like they're going to be trying to close their lost leading ones to get all of that look going, which will be a shame because it's going to be more jobs than another shop on the high street gone. Street Singer is stood right in front of where M&S was, which is another large building which has offices on top, which could easily be utilised for quite a few other things. This is going to be quite a mess once it's all done. I, don't, I do like the idea that they have actually made it look like it fits in with the style, but the colours, no. I've said that multiple times. I don't like the fact that they're not following on with the colours of that. But hey, there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, we still got what was kind of, you know, W. H. Smith and post office, not really utilised. Um, I haven't personally heard any rumours, other people may have, but I don't know what's going on there. It is being used, obviously, as kind of like a ch ever-changing advert board for stores which are kind of like in the grand. So you've got stuff to do with leading labels, and I think we've had some of the other stuff like uh, pop store and other things and things for HMV which is good utilize the you know utilize the shop front space really nice good idea but it would be nice if it was done a little bit more or someone else would move in and then we'd have a lot less of that as I said earlier pride is this weekend at the same time that Athletic the home it's Northampton so this will be a uh, whole of this area will be a sea of rainbows and uh, madness which uh, obviously even some of that persuasion yes the more rainbows the better but i mean it's going to be quite a contained crammed space as it has been for the past few years which uh, isn't conducive to what's getting there even though it does carry the sound quite well it's not quite nice for the rest of it though but let's show you what's going on with this the office side is still wide open. Still no idea when they're ever going to uh, close that off. The hole that we've done to get that new staircase in. Looks like they've cut it quite nicely. And uh, gives you a little bit of a view over there. Not sure what's going on with that bit there though. Right next to those uh, temp stairs. I think. But this will be uh, amazing. And it is kind of all weird. Anyway, I will uh, wrap up here. So, if you uh, want to stick some comments down below, stick some comments down below. Uh, you know, put your ideas of what you think would be uh, good here and other things like that, and uh, whether you uh, like the idea or not. I think. We already know how that one's going to go because judging from other people's comments they don't like the idea of this lot coming down even though some of it really could have been modified especially uh, using the old market hall as an indoor arena even though it could have been a temp site for a little while and i'll get some basketball exhibits in get some ice hockey in at least give somewhere to do some concerts so it's not always there uh, some of this site could actually have been used as like another civic plaza rather than uh, using around here that might have been easier because well a lot better. Uh, some of the eateries and things like that, I've mentioned them in the past. You know, I spitballed a few American diners and stuff. What do y'all think of that? I've got no 200 subs, which is actually quite amazing. Uh, 200 people actually want to uh, hear my rambles and rantings and everything else. I know I'm not really doing all the rugby and football vlogs. Those will come on in time. Anyway, if you want to, get a big thumb up. If you really want to join the madness and uh, help increase everything, then uh, give that subscription button a good old black eye and smash that sub. Stick your comments down below and uh, share the bejeebus out of this. So I will sign out and I will see you sometime. 
see you in the stars, see you star side. Don't get too stressed, don't worry, you are not alone. And peace. Goodbye.